What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video, this time for the Steam OS Preview 3.6 update. We're going to take a look at a few games and compare it to the stable 3.5, but there's a ton in that update besides just that kind of stuff. There's fixes for the Apple AirPod uh, pairing that's supposed to be improved, session recovery from GPU crashes, updated kernels and Arch Linux base, a lot of things to go look at in this. So if you want to see everything, I suggest going and checking out the news for Steam OS 3.6 here. Also, for me, what I'm more into is the new graphics and performance so updated graphics driver to the mess of 24.1 so i want to take a look at how that's looking and the responsive to the ui and how that's feeling is supposed to be better it does seem to be pretty good but i haven't gotten too deep into all that but there's a lot to check out here the thumbnails on desktop mode for videos and stuff there's just a lot of neat little updates in this 3.6 but what i want to do is more specifically just take a look at a few games and see if there was anything major or different here now the biggest difference I had as far as a loss of performance so far was Mortal Kombat 1. This is 4 gigs of RAM throughout the whole video set for the Steam Deck all the way through, and then Stable 3.519 and SteamOS Preview 3.6. Now here, running at native with no FSR, we actually wound up with 45 and 41, with consistently as many times as I would run this, 4 FPS better on SteamOS Stable versus the 3.6, just kind of the way it was. Now. This is the way games work. They're very hit or miss as whether or not they gain or lose or whatever when we get GPU driver updates and OS updates that are pretty large and that type of thing. Uh, here on FSR with quality, 46 and 42, the exact same 4 FPS difference. And I ran that a lot of times as well. But Mortal Kombat's pretty touchy when it comes to updates. Now, I took a look at Horizon Zero Dawn that I had on the deck and... This is another one that does a little bit better on the stable 3.5. And if I kind of go frame by frame and look, it's a lot of times I'm just a little higher on FPS. Steam or uh, frame times do a little better on SteamOS Preview 3.6, but overall I felt like the clock speed stayed higher uh, a lot of the times and resulted in a little bit higher FPS over on the stable 3.5. And overall here, as you can see in the results at the end, it did run a bit better. Frame time's a little better on 3.6, just like all these games really, but overall performance just wasn't quite the same or there like stable 3.5. Now, Cyberpunk is one I didn't expect to really see any difference and it's been so optimized for the Steam Deck. It always runs pretty well. And yeah, for the most part, I could go side by side and see the same performance here uh, no matter what. So really no major difference for Cyberpunk, but I had it on the deck and wanted to check it out. So again, this kind of shows you it really depends on what kind of game you're looking at as to what the performance is going to do when we get these kind of major updates. Kind of walking around here, same thing. Didn't expect any difference. Again, sometimes the frame time's a bit better here. Uh, it felt like more consistent anyway uh, on the new Preview 3.6, but overall performance oftentimes is lagging in the other games. Same here on Cyberpunk. Now, Starfield's another one I didn't expect any real difference in, and pretty much not. I felt like frame times were sitting better, and they were a lot of the times, just a little bit, um, and maybe didn't change as much, but for the most part, overall performance, and just in general how the game was running, pretty much like Cyberpunk. It's basically an identical performance when it comes to that. So again, Mortal Kombat lost the most. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, did a little better on the older stable 3.5. Cyberpunk's basically the same. Uh, Starfield's basically the same, and it's really going to depend on what game you're looking at. That's just the nature of these bigger updates, especially driver updates and bigger OS updates to when it comes to PC in general. Now, something I did want to look at was frame generation in-game, which Starfield has, and you know that kind of messes things up a lot on the deck a lot of times, and it also messes with the GPU clock, so you got to manually turn that on to get to the 1600 again that you were getting when frame gen was off and get a little better performance, but it never really works that great, unfortunately, but I just wanted to check it out and just kind of see what would happen. So we'll go from the 3.5, and I want to see if preview 3.6 driver updates and everything did any better. So over on 3.6, we'll kick in frame gen and see if we keep this 1600 megahertz but we don't uh, we do lose the clocks just the same it reacts the same way as it does over on stable 3.5 but if you manually kick in the uh, the clock speed again it will perform a little bit better it actually will hit a higher fps that way sometimes here on 3.6 than 3.5 but it's kind of negligible either way that problem for in-game frame gen still exists right now with the update anyway and i thought that was interesting to take a look at 
All right, guys, that'll pretty much do it. I just wanted to take a look at a few games and see what kind of differences there were in performance. I always find that to be pretty interesting, and I'm sure there'll be some changes before it comes to stable as well. And it's pretty normal for games to start performing uh, better, worse, or the same, depending on what we get when it comes to driver updates and big OS updates. And again, that's basically how PC is in general. But we'll definitely keep an eye on this and be testing it out more, especially as 3.6 comes to stable. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.